Hello, you beautiful soul. My name is Dylan John Dickerson here with MotionVFX.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use our brand new pack, M Shorts, to create some vertical masterpieces that you can upload to YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Reels, etc. I'm going to go over three somewhat different styles of vertical videos to show you how you can use M Shorts in different scenarios. First and foremost, we have this vertical project about my endeavors with trying to make friends with a cow. Yes, I know. Leave a comment telling me how sad that is. The first thing I did is add a title since this is part two of me trying to make friends with this specific cow. I went with title 11 and all I did was adjust the position and size easily with the on-screen controls here. The nice thing is all of these elements will fit your vertical video with ease. They're made specifically for a vertical aspect ratio. Just drag and drop and you're pretty much set. I changed what the title said in the inspector window and done. At this part, I used the zoom in feature that comes with the pack so I could get a nice zoom in to the cow here. The cool thing is that you can switch between different types of animation in settings. So for example, I can make it a quick zoom or I can make it a smooth zoom. There's also tons of cool effects in M Shorts. So if you wanted, you could add this cool retro effect. Afterglow is pretty cool as well. It adds a bit of halation as well as changes up the hue of our greens. And these are fully customizable as well, but I didn't think these fit the video so much, maybe for another project. M Shorts also comes with six customizable transitions that you can use for your videos. For example, here I use transition one, which is like a swipe up transition, but I took out the swipe up title by going into my inspector window and just deleting the text. Transition six is also a great one. It's a cool wipe transition that you can customize easily. So by heading into the inspector window, you can change the height of these shapes as well as the colors. I just adjusted the color of one to fit the theme of my channel. The last thing I did was add call to action number five at the end to help my video get more engagement. If you want to check if your presets line up with the correct position on different platforms, use the guidelines preset in the tools and effects section. Let's take a look at this vertical video where I talk about how to create a simple lighting setup in a small room. You'll see that the first thing I added was frame and drop zone number four. Well, hello. I did this because adding this as a sort of opener will make my video stand out. When people are quickly swiping, having anything that's peculiar or out of the ordinary in the first couple seconds will help to grab their attention for a bit longer. Right here, you'll notice that I use Avatar 14 to help show that the video was requested by a subscriber. It's really easy to make adjustments to this too. Just head into the inspector. You can choose the profile pic or logo that you want by selecting your drop zone and clicking on the media you'd like, and then hit apply. You can make adjustments to the position of the drop zone by adjusting these parameters here. And of course, type what you'd like into the different text boxes. Lastly, I went to the end and added one of the many subscribe buttons that have really smooth animations. I went with avatar number 15 and once again, I positioned it using the on-screen controls. I adjusted the drop zone. And typed in whatever I wanted in the text boxes. Last example, I created a YouTube short on my personal channel about video editing and I mixed the pack M Shorts with another new Motion VFX pack, MKBHD. Both are fantastic. Unfortunately, I don't have the library for this, so let me explain which presets I used and why just by looking at the video on the timeline. First, I used Frame and Drop Zone 2, which gives kind of a unique aspect ratio, which I found made a boring screen recording more interesting. It makes it look more professional in my opinion. I also switched up the text with call to action 19 to have it be a title for the short. I used call to action seven strategically after I dished a gold nugget of knowledge in the video to potentially drive more people to press the like button. 
and this is something I suggest you do in your own videos. If there's an entertaining or informative part in your video, place a call to action soon after that part. You'll be surprised how effective proper timing can be. There you have it, a bunch of ways to use M Shorts to quickly enhance your vertical videos. Go to motionvfx.com to check out the full pack and have a great day, guys.